hey guys uh, now I'm going to tell you how you can update or reinstall WordPress manually via cPanel file manager if you are looking for the tutorial about uh, how you can do this via FTP then please check other videos and uh, <coughs> first of all you have to log in your cPanel uh, cPanel of your domain where you want to update or reinstall WordPress and then go to file manager here after going to file manager locate the domains root folder where WordPress is installed so if is primary domain that's obviously would be in public underscore HTML folder but if it's some other domain which is not primary domain you can check here then the root of that domain will be something else you first need to verify that which what is where is your uh, website installation uh, WordPress installation if you are not sure how to check just rename it to your name readme.html to your name and if you can load this HTML file with that primary domain name then that means you are in see we are in right directory here all right so this is where we will we are going to upload our latest WordPress uh, reinstall WordPress so go to wordpress.org and get the latest version of WordPress get WordPress download and save it somewhere on your desktop or anywhere you want I will save it in trash I'll call it new WordPress download complete once it have it have been downloaded then go to upload before going to upload okay let's first upload it new WordPress while it's uploading I'll tell you that the f there are certain f uh, folders and files you need to replace in in case you want to reinstall WordPress or update it manually remember you can not delete wp-config.php this file holds the main it this file holds the main database access so if this file does not exist your website cannot connect with database and you will find error on your website wp-content all your images themes and plugins which are right now activated on your site or working on your site they are inside this folder so do not delete wp-content otherwise you will lose all your images uploads and the themes and plugins and everything all right and do not delete wp-config otherwise you will lose database connection which you will be have to other than this you can delete wp-admin wp-includes do not delete .htxs as it handles your WordPress permalinks do not d delete d user.ini this is your server's file these files you can delete do not delete php ini this is your php settings do not delete wp-config you can delete these files okay over archive also have been uploaded let me close it okay let's delete these files and folders you can move them to uh, trash but make sure you are you, sh you are sure what you are doing otherwise you can make a lot of problem for yourself and you can see 
now it's only here wp dash content and wp dash config and dot htaccess related to our wordpress installation only these three items okay and we do not need to replace them with anything i will upload anything over wp uh, over wordpress zip have been uploaded let's unzip it remember it will unzip it inside wordpress directory that's why i uploaded it directly here now i will delete this zip file and inside wordpress i will delete this see this is the extracted folder which i just right now extracted but i need these files here in the root not here inside the wordpress file wordpress directory so wp dash content don't need delete this and other all files see there is no wp dash config file dot php it's wp dash config dash sample not config dot php so there is no chance of overwriting anything Go, uh, move these all files to root once moved now delete this wordpress directory remember to always keep your server clean that looks very amazing now let's check our website and it should be working fine that's it this is how you can manually reinstall or update your wordpress thank you if you have any questions post them below